What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today I just wanted to make a quick video on the weapons that I feel are the best in the Battlefield 2042 beta to give you guys an idea of which ones to use if you haven't been able to play yet or if you're struggling to find the best weapon for your playstyle. The gameplay you're going to be seeing is from the early beta session that I was lucky enough to take part in thanks to EA so keep in mind that the gameplay is definitely not the best as this was the first hour or two of gameplay that I got and I was also playing on PC using a controller meaning I had very little aim assist if any at all. Before we get into it though, if you guys are new to the channel and you end up enjoying the video, then do consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so that you don't miss out on any upcoming Battlefield 2042 content. But with that being said, let's get stuck right into it. Now anyway, I'm essentially going to be going through every weapon that I was able to use during this early session. Keep in mind as this video goes live, I will have played a ton more hours because as of recording this, I've only been able to use each weapon for a couple of games, but I do feel as though I've found the better weapons so far, unless they do end up being tweaked mid beta. Now personally for me the weapon that I found to be the best was the DM7 which is a semi-automatic rifle from the marksman class and this thing felt genuinely unbeatable at mid to long range while also not feeling overpowered or broken although it's obviously hard to tell from such a small sample size. I found this one to be really accurate and steady with the recoil and it seemed to be about a three or four shot kill which was really good although the rate of fire is capped so you can't just spam it which is definitely a good thing for the balancing. Now the loadout that I used for it pretty much the entire time was the wrap suppressor which is the middle attachment on the left side the cobra grip which is the middle attachment at the bottom the regular ammunition and the tv two time scope which is the top scope attachment the suppressor allowed me to play a little bit stealthier as it didn't show up on the minimap and it meant i was able to pick off enemies a little bit easier and then i used the regular ammunition over the others as it does allow for a 15 round mag whereas the high powered rounds only allow for seven and personally they didn't feel all that much more powerful so the 15 round mag definitely felt more comfortable for me. Like I said, this thing was a beast when it came to mid to long range. I only died once that I can remember when it was a mid range gunfight, but pretty much every other death that I had while using it was either someone shooting me from the side or behind, or like someone up close with an SMG, which I obviously wasn't going to win, but in pretty much every gunfight at the right range, where me and one other player were both counter shooting, I feel like I won pretty much every single one, and I definitely credit that to the weapon over my own skill. Definitely give this one a crack. I feel fairly confident in saying that it might be one of the more meta weapons in the beta however it is also pretty hard to tell so early but yeah i definitely felt best with this gun in my hands from my playtime so far now moving on i'm just going to quickly cover a few other weapons and then touch on some of the weaker ones but the other three that i found to be really solid were the lcmg the m5a3 and the ak24 these were all either lmgs or assault rifles which to be fair suit my playstyle much more than the other weapons so that's likely why i found them to be decent but yeah they all felt really strong pretty much regardless of the attachments that i was using i'm not much of an lmg guy myself but the lcmg did feel really beefy and i think i actually had one of my better games while using this this one it honestly just felt like an ar but with more ammo which was a lot of fun and so yeah definitely give the lcmg a crack even if you're not a fan of lmgs for the most part because it did feel really solid the m5a3 and the ak24 felt pretty similar for the most part i think they were balanced pretty well however i really wasn't a fan of the scopes on the ak24 so i actually used it quite a bit without the scopes even though i'm generally not a fan of iron sights and it was still really decent and fun to use so give that one a crack as well although for the m5a3 the red dot sight felt absolutely perfect and that was my go-to with that one. Now another honourable mention is the K30 which is the SMG that looks like a vector and this thing is really really good however it's really only good in heavy close quarters areas. Even at like just past close range it becomes absolute garbage which to be fair is really good balancing otherwise it would definitely be OP but yeah I found it pretty hard to use on this map simply because there is so much open range. If you're in and amongst the action though this thing is very beastly I found that up on top of the B tower or really just anywhere that there'll be enemies close by it felt really good to use but you definitely need the extended mags on it as it has a super fast rate of fire again give this one a try as it is really solid but it does require a pretty specific play style compared to the other weapons i've mentioned that can do pretty well at really any range in the game now speaking of smgs the base smg which i think is the pbx 45 felt like pretty much dog shit to me personally it felt really really weak and i felt like i would hit about eight shots on someone at 
relatively close range and they just wouldn't die most of the time, which is obviously not what you want at all. With that being said, I could have just been using it wrong or I could have been even lagging or something like that too. So it might feel a little bit different for you guys. And if it does, then let me know in the comments. But yeah, personally, I did not enjoy using that one as much as all the others in the game. So I thought I'd throw that in there just to let you guys know in case that isn't just me being terrible. Now, lastly, we have the SWS-10, which is the sniper rifle. And as much as I love sniping, I could not for the life of me use this thing. Although to be honest, I didn't use it all that much either. So I'm sure with some practice, it might be a little bit easier. On top of that, I think having no aim assist on controller made it probably a little bit harder to snipe and land headshots. And then also keep in mind, the guys in these lobbies that I was playing in were all YouTubers. So obviously everyone's pretty decent at the game, meaning I don't really have much room for mistakes. So yeah, I really did struggle with this quite a bit, but once I've played on the Xbox, I may find it to be a little bit easier. That being said, it is still fun to use and it was definitely very satisfying when you do get a kill with it. But yeah, it was definitely not easy to get the hang of. And so unfortunately, I just didn't rate it quite as highly as most of the others. So as of right now, that is pretty much it for my thoughts on the weapon so far and which ones I think are the best. Keep in mind, I've only played three hours as I'm recording this and there might actually be more weapons that you unlock later on or something. I could have sworn that they said they'd all be unlocked, yet there were actually some that I unlocked in my playtime. So if I come across any more weapons, then I'll definitely let you guys know if I find any good ones. Let me know down in the comments which weapons you guys think were the best so far. Like I said, I think the DM7 is easily one of the better weapons, but I'm keen to hear what you guys think as well. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new, then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. If you guys want to support the content that I make here on YouTube, then do consider becoming a channel member. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield.